the timeless perfection that we are shines forth when we don't describe our experience. Can you just let it be as it is with no description? And what do you notice? Just for a moment, stop describing your experience right now. What do you notice? So first get honest about the way things are and then create contrast by going to the highest possibility you can imagine without judging the muddiness. Like he said, we've inherited this. This is a portion. This is not what you are. You've associated what you are with what you're not and therefore you're defensive of the shit that's part of the collective. If you disassociate from it in terms of realize it's not who you are, now you can honestly work with it and do the transmutation work that you signed up for. So this is the this is the guidance mechanism. This is your true north, so to speak. While you're in this life, it's perhaps the most tangible way, the most evidential way to connect to, to be in the proximity of the frequency of your true self. I just want for everyone to feel this love that's coming from God. You bet. And that moves him. You can see it right here. He's profoundly moved. You cannot get any more profoundly moved than this, can you? Huh? That's your calling. shift there's more shifts to come but you made a shift that's profound for you and that's all that matters is work with where you're at and increase your self-worth in your own eyes one leap at a time <laughs>